Jailer! Please. Shut it! Please come here! I wonder if I can pry it loose. Hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey! No talking! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgement to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. We have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. <laughs> I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well, it would be a shame to waste such influence. And then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. What? Never! The hells will freeze before I'd marry you. Sad to say, but the headsman will be here long before that. I want... Ironrath, and you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. He marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, 
it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mera. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mera. One word from me, that cowboy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool! I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. <laughs>